To set up and use a new Apple Watch, you'll need an iPhone 8 or later with iOS 16 or later. Find out how to identify your iPhone model and how to update your iPhone to the latest version of iOS. Turn on your Apple Watch and put it on. To turn on your Apple Watch, press and hold the side button till the Apple logo appears. Then put the watch on your wrist. Hold your Apple Watch close to your iPhone. Wait for the use your iPhone to set up this Apple Watch message to appear on your iPhone, then tap continue. If this message doesn't appear, open the Apple Watch app on your iPhone. Tap all watches, then tap add watch. If this is your Apple Watch, tap set up for myself, or tap set up for a family member, then follow the steps to set up the watch for someone in your family. Keep your Apple Watch and iPhone close together until you complete these steps. Hold your iPhone over the animation. Center the watch face in the viewfinder on your iPhone. Wait for a message to say that your Apple Watch is paired. If you can't use the camera, or the pairing animation doesn't appear, or your iPhone can't read it, tap pair manually, then follow the prompts. Set up as new or restore from a backup. If this is your first Apple Watch, tap set up as new Apple Watch. If asked, update your Apple Watch to the latest version of watchOS. If you set up another Apple Watch with your current iPhone, a screen will appear that says make this your new Apple Watch. Tap apps and data and settings to see how Express Setup will configure your new watch. Then tap continue. If you want to choose the setup of your new watch, tap customize settings. Then choose a backup from another previous Apple Watch to restore. Or tap set up as new Apple Watch if you want to fully customize your new device's settings. Your Apple Watch may also require a software update on your iPhone before you can set up the watch. If your iPhone says that a software update is available, tap update now and wait for the update process to be finished. Choose which wrist you wear your Apple Watch on, then tap Continue. Read the terms and conditions and tap Agree. Sign in with your Apple ID. If asked, enter your Apple ID password. If you're not asked, you can sign in later from the Apple Watch app. Tap General and GT. Apple ID. Then sign in. Certain features that require a mobile phone number won't work on GPS plus cellular models of Apple Watch unless you sign into iCloud. If Find My isn't set up on your iPhone, you'll be asked to turn on activation lock. If an activation lock screen appears, your Apple Watch is already linked to an Apple ID. You will need to enter the email address and password for that Apple ID to continue the setup process. If your Apple Watch was previously owned, you may need to contact the previous owner to remove activation lock. Create a passcode. You can skip creating the passcode, but you'll need one for features such as Apple Pay. On your iPhone, tap Create a Passcode or Add a Long Passcode, then switch to your Apple Watch to enter your new code. To skip, tap Don't Add Passcode. Customize your settings. Select your preferred text size and whether you want to use bold text. If you haven't used Express Setup, your Apple Watch will show you which settings it shares with your iPhone. If you turned on features as Find My, Location Services, Wi-Fi calling and diagnostics for your iPhone. These settings will be turned on for your Apple Watch automatically. Next, add or update details such as your date of birth to make sure your fitness and health data are accurate. You can also turn on health notifications such as noise levels and details about emergency SOS and fall detection will appear. Set up mobile data and Apple Pay. On GPS plus cellular models of Apple Watch, you can set up mobile data. Next, you'll also be asked to set up Apple Pay by adding a card. Then your iPhone will walk you through features such as the always on display and your preferred app view. Keep your devices close together while they're syncing. Your Apple Watch will display the watch face when the pairing procedure has finished and your watch is ready to use. Keep your Apple Watch and iPhone close together so the devices can continue syncing information in the background. 